So tell me a little bit about osteoporosis. What exactly is it? You know, osteoporosis is a condition where you have a thinning of the bone and it's become kind of the darling of the healthcare world right now. Every woman out there knows what it is. You didn't see a lot of it prior to the 1960s uh, when they were doing a lot of hormone replacement therapy and things of that nature. And the old form of hormone replacement therapy, which was estrogen replacement therapy, they ended up finding out, uh oh, it causes cancer in the mid 70s. So everyone left it like the plague. That company then, that market, all of a sudden lost their income stream. And so overnight, they changed their name to from estrogen replacement therapy to hormone replacement therapy. And they said, we got to have a new target because we used to, you know, feminine forever, young and beautiful. You can look like Marilyn Monroe when you're 60. That was their market before with their hormones. So they left it. Well, when they left it, they learned, uh-oh, now we got to do something different. And so they came up with something called hormone replacement therapy. And it had to have a villain. So they had this hero, it's got to have a villain. So they started educating women on something called osteoporosis, which is really a thinning of the bone. The bone starts to deplete, deplete itself and break down over time. Is there any way to counteract that? Yeah, there is. You know, And the, the classification of drugs that they use, the biphosphonate drugs, Boniva, things of that nature, um, the problem with those drugs is that you have two types of bone cells. You have something called an osteoclast and an osteoblast. Clasts are destructive cells. They tear down old bone to make room for new bone to be built. The blasts are your builders. So I always remember the B's are builders, the C's are condemners. They tear down the old. The drugs that they use currently stop the guys from tearing down the old bone. They leave it there in place. And so when you look at them like, oh look Mrs. Smith, your bone density is doing great. It's still there at you know, the right normal level for a year or two, and then that old bone rots away and falls down like an old building you left on a piece of property that you tried to build on top of. It's not structurally sound, it's not healthy tissue, it's actually diseased to some degree, and then it falls apart and comes down. So things that when you look at the medicine, you say, well, that doesn't sound good, and it only works for a couple, two, three years, what do you do for the next 30 years of your life? That's where we come in. We always examine, examine, examine. You run a 24-hour UA. The UA will tell you where the body's in trouble at. Bone is made up of a multitude of different minerals. There's 12 to 14 different minerals that make up bone. And protein is the glue that holds those minerals together. It'd be like making concrete to make a pillar with no rock or no sand in it. It won't do very well. It's just brittle and falls apart. So the work that we do in practice is you find why the body is borrowing minerals from its bone. And then you figure out how do you put those back? It's not taking a calcium supplement or something that easy. If it was, nobody would have osteoporosis. It's a digestive issue. And you've got to hunt and look for that issue. And if you find that cause and remove it, you can turn bone loss around. When should women be concerned with this? At what age range should we start looking into bone health? You know, I would say right away. You know, once your puberty starts kicking in and women start going through that, you'll see fertility issues. You'll see protein problems. When you start seeing the signs and the hallmarks of a protein problem, you know my bones aren't far down the road. So what are those signs, right? Cold hands and feet moist hands and feet. The body goes through a pecking order of degeneration. It's going to fall apart in a certain way. You'll sometimes see things um, initially, like with children, you'll see the skin get involved and the mucous membranes. That's a first line of defense for the body. And if that fails, it'll fall back into a second line of defense. So that second line, that's your bones, your joints, your ligaments. So when you start seeing problems there, you know, uh oh, I'm already through the first line. The body's gotten too weak to hold that line of defense, so it fell back. After that, it'll go internal. It'll get into all those organs on the inside. And then you'll see the heart start showing up. And in worst case scenarios, it'll actually eventually involve the brain. And that's where you see the Alzheimer's and all those things that are degenerative over time. They can be stopped. You just have to pay attention to the symptoms. Are you gassy, bloated, constipation, diarrhea, stiff, sore, achy joints? Do you have trouble with anxiety or depression? Are you moody or insomnia? Those are all symptoms of the body telling you, look, you've got to pay attention or I'm going to create a problem you can't get rid of. And that's what it does. All right. Good information, Doc. Great. Thank you. Thank you.